So today we are going to talk about Venus and Scorpio, and I'm hiding away in a shed again because my house is full of people and I'm not topless, by the way. Um, <laughs> and I wanted to talk about Venus and Scorpio because it has been kind of brought to my attention by a few of my viewers, and I need to like hurry up with my Venus sign series, and I know that as well. Um, I've just been focusing a lot on talking about aspects and stuff like that. So Venus and Scorpio... When we, uh, when somebody possesses the Venus sign Scorpio, you have to take into consideration that Scorpio rules the eighth house. The eighth house being kind of a darker area, like dealing with sex and control and power issues and taboos. Um, essentially, this is the energy that is projected outward through the Venus sign Scorpio. Now, it's not a scary thing, and a lot of people take it that way. For some reason, I attract these guys like crazy, and that's, well, not some reason, it's probably due to being a Scorpio moon and rising. So men with Venus and Scorpio are very attracted to Scorpio energy. Um, but there's this intensity and the depth of their love. You will literally never be the same <laughs> if you fall in love with somebody with Venus and Scorpio. And um, yeah, it's like you will bear, if it's going to work with that person, you are going to end up needing to completely bear your soul to them in order for it to really survive and last. They will give that to you in return as well, though. That is where we do kind of see the principles of the seventh house uh, give and take and back and forth and partnership. Um, but at first, it kind of seems like with them that they expect you to give more than they will tell you in return. Because with a Scorpio Venus, they don't want to invest their love into you if you aren't going to uh, make it worth their while, I guess you could say. And for them, making something worth their while has everything to do with uh, that deep, intense Scorpio-like merge that you look for, um, or that we look to with Pluto being in the mix. A lot of people will be able to resonate with that if you have, like, your Venus sign and aspect of Pluto. It will be very similar, but still your own Venus sign the traits of your Venus sign will uh, still be projected outward. So it won't be entirely like possessing Venus and Scorpio. Um, but Venus and Scorpios are some of the most loyal and genuine lovers that you can ever encounter once you can get them to the point of being that way. Um, and it can take a little bit for them because they really want to know that they can trust you. For them, opening up their heart and uh, letting love in, I guess you could say, is a very scary thing. With Scorpio's phrase being, I desire, um, Venus and Scorpios kind of have a little bit of a harder time in love. Their sign is in fall, I do believe. Venus is in fall in Scorpio, uh, or detriment, one of the two. But it is not as easy for them to uh, find partners that can really match that intensity. Because Scorpio is so... It's not me-focused necessarily, but their desires are very, very important to them. And so... Having a Venus and Scorpio, what they desire is what they are ultimately thinking about more. They do consider your desires. It's not like a Venus and Scorpio is some selfish sign. Um, but at the same time, desire is big and there is an intense desire for love. Uh, this can be seen a little bit differently depending on what sun sign it is that has Venus and Scorpio. Like if you are a Virgo sun with Venus and Scorpio or a Libra sun, um, it's just going to add this tinge of Scorpio-like energy to your personality kind of on regards to what either you are attracted to for a man or the feminine energy that you are giving off as a woman. Um, but Venus and or Scorpio suns with Venus and Scorpio are pretty intense people. Um, they're living out their Scorpio-like energy through their Venus sign as well. And so everything in life for them is intense, not just their lives in general, but also their love styles. Um, Venus and Scorpio males are, as I began to say before, going to be attracted to women with strong uh, Pluto energy or Scorpio energy in their chart or even eighth house energy. Somebody who is intense and mysterious. Um, that's not saying it will be like that every single time, but more than often it is. They are normally attracted to women who do have some sort of strong Scorpio in their own charts. Um, as a woman, you're going to give off that intensity in love, uh, your femininity is going to be surrounded by a lot of Pluto undertones. Um, there can be this heart-wrenching desire almost with Venus and Scorpio, like love for them is all or nothing. And uh, sometimes they can end up getting very, very hurt by that. 
um, just because it is very hard for them to find somebody who can match that. Air Venuses with Venus and Scorpio, like I don't even, it's possible. I, and anything is possible, <laughs> but compatibility wise, an air Venus normally does not go that well with a Venus and Scorpio simply because they're all in the mind and the Venus and Scorpio is all about depth. Um, Earth Venuses can due to the fact that they want to, uh, there's a mutual desire for a uh, long-term commitment and Scorpio Venuses are definitely always pretty much searching for their soulmate. So they want something that is going to last for the course of time and forever. Um, water Venuses obviously are great. Venus and Pisces, Venus and Cancer are a lot better with Venus and Scorpios simply because um, they can relate to each other on an emotional level and they're both kind of geared towards wanting similar things in love, even though Scorpios is a little bit more, uh, they have a little bit more unique of desires, I guess you could say. Uh, uh, they have a unique love style, but still it will resonate a lot better with somebody who has a uh, water Venus. And fire. Fire, it could go both ways, kind of like uh, air. Fire being a little bit more impulsive and kind of wanting to have more fun and like do things in the moment and not really think too much. It might be harder for them to kind of resonate with that, but it all depends, honestly, um, especially if the person with Venus and Scorpio is like a Sagittarius sun, they might attract more to fire just because it's something they can resonate with. It really all depends. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, that is Venus and Scorpio. There's an intensity in love. There's this desire to uh, merge with your partner on a very, very deep level that's almost soul sucking. No, that's a horrible way to put it. I did not mean it like that. Sorry, Venus and Scorpios. Um, just the desire to merge. You want to be one with your partner. You want to know everything about them. You want to know all of their secrets, all of their desires, all of their needs, all of their wants. You want to know everything. And if you are somebody who is getting into a relationship with a Venus and Scorpio, you're going to have to be willing to be able to give them that, to be able to give them pretty much your all in every sense of the word. Um, yeah. So that is Venus and Scorpio. Hope you guys enjoyed it.